damage detected, evacuation protocols in effect. Shield power restored, structural support units deployed, fire suppression systems activated, external defensive systems restored, targeting hostiles. Now! All forces, our assault has failed. The shields cannot be penetrated. Regroup at RV point fresh. Now! All ships, regroup at the Meridian Complex. Secure any remaining enemy forces on the surface and prepare search and rescue teams for deployment. We've won the impossible battle, but the day isn't over until we've gotten everyone home safely. Get to it. The Conquering Hero. You saved the day again. Well done. It wasn't easy, but we pulled it off. We're getting a mountain of good intel out of the captured soldiers and ship crews, not to mention data from the wreckage. Exciting times, but I won't keep you. Just wanted to pass on my congratulations. See you around. Well, if it isn't one of my new favorite people. Tau and Arn both escaped with only minor injuries. They'll be along shortly. All Corellia forces are still on alert, but it would seem Malgus has escaped us once again. One miss in a day full of hits. We'll get him eventually. The production lines are firing back up in a matter of days. We'll get new ships to our frontline units in no time. The Empire committed a lot to this attack. They're going to be hurting for a while, and we'll be ready to press the advantage. Malgus almost had us with this attack. What are we doing to track him down? If any ships had exited the system toward Imperial space, we'd know about it. Hmm. Perplexing, to say the least. So what am I supposed to do with you? The hero of the Republic who's... not in the Republic. At least not for some years now. I believe there's a simple solution, Chancellor. I agree. Consider this your formal invitation, Commander. Come back to us. Join the Republic. And bring all your friends and your planet with you. All of my people? You know that some of them were part of the Sith Empire. I do. And if you were willing to give them a chance, then so am I. Odessan becomes a member world of the Republic, with a senator and everything. Every one of your people, even the ones with criminal charges or intelligence files with frowny faces on them, they all get clean records and citizenship if they want it. What's more, you'll be heading a new initiative we're cooking up. One I think you'll like. General? Task Force Nova. A joint military and civilian effort to help the Jedi rebuild their order. My research suggests that there are still countless Jedi scattered across the galaxy. We will find them, and we will build them a new home. To help the Jedi rebuild all that we've lost. I'd be honored. Thank you. This will be a difficult undertaking. Your help will be invaluable. Rebuilding the Jedi means rebuilding the Jedi High Council. I can think of no one I would rather welcome as this new council's first member. After all, in times like these, the role of Battlemaster becomes more important than ever. I'll be your liaison with the Republic military. We'll provide security, reconnaissance, and intelligence support. That's quite an offer. Of course, if you'd rather keep the Alliance as it is, that's fine too. You'll still be our top ally, and we'll still want your help with the task force. But the rest, the titles, the areas of responsibility, that's all a package deal for signing up. So, back to the Republic and the Jedi, or stick with the Alliance as is. I've been away from the Republic and the Jedi for too long. Count me in. Welcome to the Galactic Republic. Now then, this is gonna take quite a bit of paperwork. Until next time. Master.
I'm told I may need to invest in some brighter clothing. It'll take some time to redecorate a Odessa to coincide with our new allegiance, but I'll have the process started as soon as possible. Fitting in with the Republic, with the Jedi, should be interesting. Nost Doral, at least, seems open-minded enough. Told you he was all right. Even so, I think I'll keep my more proactive methods to myself from this point on. Shall we stop by the cantina? I understand one of the generals is offering free drinks for anyone with an impressive Corellia story. After the action we saw, we'll bankrupt the poor guy. Well, if he wasn't ready for the risks, he shouldn't have started the tab. Hey, need a minute of your time. By all means. Well, if it isn't the improvised free-climbing champion of Corellia. When he smashed the platform, I thought it was all over. I can't believe you managed to get back up there and fix the shields. You're everything they say you are. And so was Malgus. We were lucky to survive it all. That wouldn't have happened if you hadn't been there. Thanks. Do the two of you have a new mission yet? For now, we'll be helping to run relief supplies back to Corellia. Can't risk pirates grabbing any of them. Before we go, there's something else we need to talk about. When Arn and I were buried in all of that wreckage, we didn't dig ourselves out. We had help. From who? Someone who loves you. Kara! It's been so long. We meet again, at last. Wait. You're the one who attacked me on Mech Shah. You've been following me. Watching me, why? A necessary test. And you passed. What are you talking about? The Emperor, Tenebrae, Vitiate, Valkorion. Whatever his name. He was a part of you. We all felt his destruction, but he has always been a master of deceit. We had to be sure that he wasn't lingering in your mind, hidden, waiting to come out only in the most dire circumstances. Now, we are sure. I'm so glad to see you both. After all these years, I'd feared the worst. We'll never be apart like that again. Never. We have so much to tell you. We can't risk saying more here. Let's travel to your base on Odessan. It should be safe for us to talk there. About what? The final gruesome weapon of Tenebrae. It's still hard to believe that you're both back after all this time. To be fair, we weren't the ones who disappeared in the first place. True. We weren't the ones who charged away aboard an exploding ship. All of those years without you. It wasn't easy. I was a nervous wreck wondering what had really happened to you. I guess what I'm saying is, never worry me like that again, okay? I've waited a long time for you to come back to me, Kara. We have a lot of catching up to do, don't we? Why don't you tell me what's been going on? As I told you on Carrick Station, Tenebrae's last gruesome weapon. He sought immortality, but only his endless spite survives now. In your absence, I received guidance from an old ally. The path to our enemy's ultimate death was unfolding, and we had a crucial part to play. Tenebrae hid his original body where no one could harm it. As long as that body remained in stasis, the galaxy's greatest evil could never truly be killed. Unless we destroyed Tenebrae, 
the fight against Valkorion would never really be over. Since Valkorion is gone, I assume you succeeded. We did. As we later learned, we destroyed his first body just as you purged the last vestige of his twisted spirit from your mind. That is when his final weapon was unleashed. A Sith ritual, carved into his very flesh, unleashed an ancient plague from every molecule of his decaying corpse. We were both knocked out cold, comatose for more than a year. Satil Shan was the one who finally pulled us out of that nightmare, and started a new one. Since we had both been vessels for Tenebrae's power in the past, we were both protected to a large degree. Like a vaccine. But Satil had no such protection, nor did any of her followers. Within days, they were all laid low, trapped in a nightmarish slumber. In helping us, they are knowingly doomed themselves. It's terrible. I'll do anything I can to help you save them. I knew you would, but there's more. The infection is worsening. There is a darkness growing among the afflicted. We can feel their minds connecting, communicating. We're afraid they might be merging somehow. Merging into what? Another Valkorian? Is this plague bringing him back somehow? It's too early to make that conclusion. Whatever it is, it is immensely dangerous. We must stop it. How? We loaded Satil and all of her followers onto a transport to keep them quarantined, along with a few medroids to tend to them. The transport is programmed to fly a random course through unsettled sectors of the Outer Rim, all weeks away from civilization. I can send a signal to alter the course, bring it to another empty system that's closer so that we can meet it in a shuttle. We board the ship and connect our minds with yours through the Force. Together, we will face this entity and purge it from existence. And if we cannot purge it, then we destroy the transport and hope we've ended the old monster's schemes forever. Send the signal. If what you say is true, this thing could be getting stronger by the minute. I'll send the signal right away. It'll be a while before the ship comes back into range. Scourge, did you...? Yes. There is a private matter we should discuss. The sooner the better. <laughs>